Okay, so today I am going to be watching Knives Out. I think that this is a phenomenal movie. Generally, I think people regard this as a really good movie. It's a very good Agatha Christie type of mystery and like a whodunit. So I don't really want to say much because I do remember the ending, but I don't remember anything like in between and how things feed to it. But I do remember like the ending, but that's about it. Let's get right into it. My house, my rules, my coffee. Oh, that croissant looks delicious. I love croissants. I just had one like 15 minutes ago. That's a lie. I've been recording for 15 minutes. It was my pre-recording snack. I'm excited to see Glass Onion. I've heard very mixed reviews. Nothing extremely negative or like extremely bad or anything like that. Shout out her actually for not dropping it actually. One week after Harlan Thrombey's death. Shit, I need to put my glasses on if they're gonna be having text like that, I can't read. I can see. Jamie Lee Curtis, oof, love her. They married his son, Neil. We had one daughter, Meg. Dad, we already met Neil? Neil passed on 15 years ago. Nope, he passed on 15 years ago. Simultaneously freed by <laughs> and supported by them. It seems like she just riding in so that she can have the status of being part of the family still. Like, I understand the knives in the background is a cool like, look, look in the movie with like a good aesthetic backdrop like this. But why have it in the house? Does it doesn't get brought up. I read a tweet about a New Yorker article about you. I read a tweet of a New Yorker article. Whenever I'm trying to explain like a like a meme or something, I saw. If, yeah, I saw this Reddit post. I'm like, well, it wasn't on Reddit. I saw it like on Twitter. It was a screenshot of a Reddit post that was from Tumblr that I found on Twitter that ended up on YouTube. I can't remember like exact like I know the movie, but I don't know it enough. Is this all it is? Is just a whole interview process of people being interviewed? No, I just remembered. I just remembered. Daniel Craig's got nice eyes. Harlan took you aside at the party. When you returned, you were chastened. I hate Daniel Craig's accent in this. This feels forced. But you're not going to be running the, the publishing house anymore. Fired. My mind's made up. My mind's made up. You must know that this is the last money you or Meg will get from me. My mind's made up. My mind's made up. That's two. Look around. I mean, the guy practically lives in a clue board. I could see Rian Johnson being like, I just want the clue board, but as a house. Big sad, big sad photo. I've been doing a little poking. You're hot. He liked her shoes, I think. You have a regurgitative reaction to mistruthing. <laughs> yes, it's something I've had since I was a kid. Got a real life lie detector in a sense. Just the thought of lying. Yeah, it, it makes makes me puke. Convenient. Is Richard having an affair? <laughs> no. <laughs> Sorry, I assumed you were speaking figuratively. I went right. you were speaking uh, here, figuratively. Here, here. Who hired you? Oh, I forgot about this. I do not know. You took Mr. Thromby upstairs at 11.30 and left at midnight. Tell us what happened in that half hour. He's hypnotizing her. You want to do drugs? You mean the good stuff? <laughs> yeah. I do drugs. I'm gonna give you an emergency shot of naloxone so you don't die in 10 minutes. Oh, well, no pressure. You know, this is an interesting and efficient method of murder. I, I need to write this down. <laughs> <laughs> she just clicked 611, I think. Oh, she just killed him. The dogs know you, so they won't bark. Yeah, now you got to the trellis. Oh my God. Uh-oh. Ransom, are you back again already? No, I can't lie. You know I can't lie up you. Tell fragments of the truth in this exact order. Damn. I wonder if that was like a half an hour sequence. They would find in the toxicology report that he had 100 milligrams of shit in him, wouldn't they? And she was like the housemaid and she has a stash of weed around. We all think that you deserve something. Financially, we'd like to help you out. You were never anything but good to dad. And because of that, we, you can count on us. 
I wonder if they'd actually follow through. Like, I wonder if they'd actually follow through and help her pay if um whoever gets the inheritance. Well, actually, they'd all, they'd all get split up, I'm assuming. Detective. That was a great shot. I want you to be by my side for it. My confidant, my eyes and ears. Why me? I trust your kind heart. Aw, just like Harlan did. Right now. <laughs> Bitch, get out of here. <laughs> did he slit his own throat then? I promise. You did it in front of her? Holy shit. Okay. What an asshole, actually. That was kind of fucking hell. I would have I would have given her some warning. I would have said, if you don't get out of here in the next like 10 seconds, I'm gonna do it. 10, 9, 8. But no, he just went and damn. Oh, which means when she went and picked up his coat and jacket, he was fucking laying there dead. <gasps> you know all these statues that you see around here? They're all straight out of his series, the Menagerie Tragedy Trilogy. Menagerie Tragedy. What's a menagerie again? <laughs> the dog's barking at them though, and the dog knows them. It's interesting, because we already know how Harlan died. So why are we still watching? I mean, I, I, I understand that now it's like the tension's gone on to Marta trying to like cover her tracks, I guess. <laughs> Why does the dog bark at everyone except Marta? Call me Ransom, it's my middle name. Only the help calls me Hugh. Oh, Hugh Ransom. That's kind of a cool middle name. You gotta do this more often. Hey, it's that meme. Look, this is not gonna be easy for you. It's gonna be really hard for you getting cut out of the will, Ransom. You know, Ransom, you're the only heir getting greedy one in the family, so getting cut out of the will will teach you a big lesson in life, I think. Eat shit. If I Eat, shit. Eat you shit. There's a song by Flapper Zombies. I'm, I think it's Bliss. I think that's what song it is. But Michi Darko has a, pretty much what uh, Ransom was doing there. But instead of eat shit, it was fuck you. And he says, fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. And fuck you. He looked less upset there. Actually, it looked like blood was coming out of his mouth. I hereby direct that all my assets, both liquid and otherwise, I leave in their entirety to Marta Cabrera. Damn. It's not, no. that's, no, that can't Remember be. when you oh, all were that, please, shitting on please. Ransom, please. getting cut out all the best for you? Are you boinking my father? Boinking? Boinking. I love Jamie Lee Curtis, my God. <laughs> yeah, I mean, your car's not running. <laughs> Okay, seriously though, what the hell? You got a point though, like what the fuck? What is she eating? Is it beans and toast? For some reason I was thinking it was gonna be like pancakes. Is she just eating straight beans? I know beans and toast, but like just a spoonful of beans. Is that a I've never done, I've never had that. Honestly, actually, if you just get like beans and throw some spices and shit in there, that might be pretty good. Look me in the eye. Huh? And tell me what happened to my grandfather. He knows she can't lie. Why are they burning? Do you burn leaves? I guess you could burn leaves. I still think they would find 100 milligrams of meth. What was it? Not meth. Uh, morphine in his toxology report, wouldn't they? Whatever money you need, I'll give it to you. I'm here for you. And I want you to know I'm going to take care of you. I promise that. Okay? Oh, she just wants to solidify her position. Once I... And you just lost it. <laughs> Oh. Everything's going crazy. Are we rich? Maybe. Uh, Maybe. With the family's resources, you could help me fix it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, but then why could I just fix it on myself with the fucking inheritance that I was just given? But I get it. He's threatening her. Because Harlan gave me all your resources. Yeah, exactly. So that means with my resources, I'll be able to fix it. So I guess I will find the right lawyer. Exactly. Yeah, you just fucked that up, Walt. I you did. Okay, but this is a photocopy of just the header of a blood toxicology report on Harlan. Yeah, that's what I've been saying. It's fucking burning down. Okay, see, this is where I don't even know what the fuck's going on. Cause I remember, I remember how the movie ends. Not exactly. I remember that Marta was the one that put the morphine in him. I remember that shit and then completely forgot about all this. Strange case from the star. 
A case with a hole in the middle. Yeah, who paid you? It'll be just a few minutes. What's the, uh... Your medical bag! Ah, what the fuck? See, I remember Fran dying. Does she even die? I just remember that scene, like her, the shot of the spider. She's not gonna, not gonna be a Walter White and Jane it out. No, go, oh lord. Oh lord. So let me get this straight. Fran, she was blackmailing her for money. Stole the morphine. What, she took morphine to get high while waiting? Hey. Hey. Fuck you. It's gonna be the 14th reason. You're a pack of vultures at the feast. Knives out, beaks bloody. He said the thing. About the hole at the center of this donut. Who paid him? Look, I understand that this is amusing for you. Why was I hard? <laughs> yeah. And you know, if Marta was responsible for his death, even unintentionally, it's, so he's just taking all wait i don't think there'd be that much there's no okay no 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 <clears throat> you had two there was two syringes there and a f two full bottles of of drugs unless those were giant like two gauge giant ass needles there was no way that that much was gonna fill it he only had two syringes there was not enough unless he just threw out half the drugs and then just filled it filled it you would have had mixing the drugs whatever you knew because there is the slightest almost imperceptible differences of tension and viscosity between the two liquids you knew because you'd done it a hundred times you gave him the correct medication because you are a good nurse oh now the circumstances are perfect for the anonymous hiring of me. You know a crime has been committed. Mm. So Fran chose this place. That's on you, Fran. <clears throat> you chose the creepy abandoned place. Yes, doctor does great news. We'll be there soon. Thank you. <sighs> She's okay. Our birthright? It wasn't stolen. Pro family home? It was handed. <laughs> What the shit? That means she's lying. Friend's dead. He admitted to it too. And you just confessed to her murder. Yeah. Wait. She said on the the, the doctor called said hey so that so from the doctor's point of view was like hey yeah she died and then she's like oh that's great news doc thanks we'll be there soon click the doctor's probably thinking she's an asshole or what. In for a penny. I can't remember the saying. It's gonna be fake. Shit. Yeah. It's a donut with a hole in the middle. He's holding money up. He's trying to bribe them. Is it gonna have like, is it gonna be infrared? Can you only read it through something? Is she just gonna? Yeah. Shit, I, wanna, I wanted to read that. When did you know I had something to do with Harlan's death? Oh, from the first moment you set foot in front of me. I knew that. That's why I said uh, he liked her shoes. I've been doing a little poking. He's happy now. She's looking down upon them. Could you mind just my house? Okay, that was Knives Out. That was really good. The directing was phenomenal. Ever, just the little details of like, even just like when they found the body and they like put the crime scene tape on, just little, little B shots, C shots, whatever was really good. I very much enjoyed that. The writing and directing was phenomenal. I'm excited to see the second one. I've heard very mixed reviews, both good and bad. Like I've nothing too high on each side. Like I haven't heard someone be like, oh, this is a terrible, 
follow up. It's a terrible movie, but I've also haven't seen anyone be like, this is a phenomenal movie. This is a phenomenal follow up. Um, I know it has the only thing I know is that Daniel Craig's in it. Like he's the only thing that's connecting them. I don't know what else, if there's any other of the other characters. Um, I assume none of the Thornbys. There may be one of the other detectives, but uh, we'll see. Yeah, I very much enjoyed that. I'm pretty sure everyone was like color coded too. So everyone had their own color scheme to them. I don't know what else to say. That was Knives Out. If you enjoyed watching and you want to see more, please like and subscribe. It very much helps me out. Turn your notifications on if you're already subscribed so you can get notified right when I release a video. And yeah, I've been a guy named Chase. I enjoy film and anything related. Have a wonderful day and thanks for watching.